Hey y'all, how you doing, how you doing? Come on in this building, put a like on the video. Shout outs to the new subscribers. Shout outs to my fam that's been rocking with me for years. Um, if you are not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Click on the bell so you know when I'm doing another video. Also take advantage of the readings, rituals. We got books on deck. We got oracle cards on deck. Cute merch, y'all. We just build it all here. We build it, okay? Okay? Um, so anyway, y'all, this is a quick message. This is actually an interesting message, all right? And it came to me yesterday. I just had stuff to do. So I didn't get a chance to um, record anything. But there is someone out there that wants to work with you and wants to partner with you. But their reason for wanting to partner with you is very interesting. Okay, so this message is for someone who has been dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare. You've been dealing with a lot of um, evil eye, just transmuting energies, especially if you're someone who's in the public eye, especially if you are um, a voice of Christ consciousness, a voice of divine consciousness out here, you're automatically going to experience a lot of spiritual warfare, okay? Like, especially when you start to speak up and out. So that's something that many of you are familiar with, right? So there is someone out there, okay, who has been experiencing this type of spiritual warfare, but it has not taken you out. It hasn't taken you down, you haven't lost your business, you haven't lost your home, you still receive a lot of love, you still receive a lot of love offers, right? People wanna date you, they're interested in you. Somebody sees you also as marriage material as well. You didn't lose any sleep off of what this person was doing. So this person wants to partner with you off the strength that you didn't die, <laughs> literally. They're like, oh crap, he didn't die. Huh, maybe I should work with them. So it's, it's an interesting energy because somebody clearly viewed you in a high light. They viewed you um, as someone that was uh, um, like a big deal. They really set you on a pedestal, right? But then they started to get a little jealous. They started to get envious, you know, next thing you know, Somebody's using spell work on you. Somebody is literally going hard. You're all that they think about. They all they think about all day. Somebody literally couldn't sleep because they were planning their next spell or planning their next form of attack. It's actually kind of funny. But they literally were up all night, okay? They were, y'all, I'm telling you, they were grinding their gears. They were contacting people. They were calling out a state and internationally. They were going to different stores around their state and all of this stuff around their town. Um, some of them literally crossed state lines or cross country lines to get more, um, I heard protocol. That's interesting, protocol? To follow a certain protocol, to, to wage warfare on you. Um, all sorts of things, okay? They, they spoke to practitioners who have been in the game longer than them. Somebody or these people, for some of you, it's multiple people. They went hard trying to take you down. Y'all, I can't even emphasize how much. This person could have spent anywhere from 90 days <laughs> to nine years trying to take you out and they cannot do it. They couldn't do it. They will not ever be successful. And they're realizing this. So, you know, after they shed tears, after they went to therapy, after they took their medication, they're coming up with some sort of plan to come back to you because now they wanna work with you because you did not die. Okay, they employed people who've been in the spiritual game for like 30 years. Hexing people, cursing people, sticking chicken bones in somebody's backseat, all sorts of stuff. Okay, these people have even seen the practitioners they've hired get touched. But you haven't. So now they want to partner with you. Because they're like, yo, you must be the, the biggest which the biggest priest, priestess of them all. 
Because there's no way that you're still breathing after what I and we did to you, okay? They want to come back. They're like, well, look, maybe we could partner up. Because this person really doesn't necessarily have a change of heart when it comes to, like, waging warfare at other people. This person's not going to change their mind. They're, they have a dusty soul. It's never going to get clean. That's their karma. That's their role in this life, to have dusty soul energy and do diabolical things to other people, right? So that's they're not coming to you because they want to go on the side of the divine. They're coming to you to kind of convince you, like, yo, let's do diabolical shit together. Let's partner up. Let's be buddies. We could take over the world. You know how much money we could get? Somebody literally wants to corrupt you. They're also impressed by you. So you, you remember what I was saying, how the cycle shifted. They admired you. Then they were jealous. Then they were envious. Then they low-key were in love with you. Low-key, but high-key, right? Then they got bitter. Then they got angry. Then they wanted your death and destruction. Then they plotted on you. And now, now they're in awe of you. Now they're in awe because you didn't die. You're still breathing. And not only are you breathing, you're more fine. You're finer than before. You have more money than you had before, <laughs> right? You have more opportunities. You have more blessings. You have more love. This is someone out there, you received more after what these people have done to you, right? Whole covens, whole organizations, y'all, I'm telling you right now, whole circles and family groups and meetups about you now this person or these people want to recruit you because they're like bro you're more powerful than the coven leader like you're more powerful than the person that even founded our organization the person that founded our organization got touched by spell work but not you so you must you must be friends with us you must. So this message, y'all, I really wanted this to be quick. This could have already happened to you. Somebody could have made a return to you. Whether they said, hey, we're trying to recruit you or not. Whether they said, yo, it was me that was using spell work or not. It doesn't matter. A lot of them are not going to tell you the truth of the matter because they want you in the fold. They want you to believe that, hey, we could be friends again. Can't we be frenemies again? I really want to be your friend of me once more, okay? I really want to be that family member that you depend on once more because your magic is so big that I need to manipulate you and con convince you to manifest things for me, right? Because you, you're alive and I don't know how you're breathing. I don't know. Somebody does not understand how you're alive, y'all. I'm telling you. I, they don't get it. So they went through those emotions they, and they went through a lot of confusion as well, a lot. Some of them had to check their spell books. Some of them had to go back and check their spell book. Like, bruh, like, is the spell working? Like, is the spell right? Did I, is it accurate? Like, man, I've been studying this all this time. Like every single night at like clockwork, I've been using spell work on this. I've been using spell work on this person during my work breaks, bro. Like I literally took days off of work to use spell work on these people if they can't die they're not gonna die <laughs> somebody's like lost their shit y'all i'm telling you somebody really lost their mind because they're like what is that like how is she still alive <laughs> blasted like all of that reminds me of those cartoons but yeah literally this is somebody's life so like i was saying you're gonna have this person or these people try to make a return to your life y'all use your discernment Someone out there, you have A1 discernment. Use your discernment. You'll know who these people are. A lot of you, you already know who these people are. You already know. You have the gift of knowing, of sight, the gift of prophecy. You know. You know. And if these people tune into my channel, then they might, they might not. They might not show up because they're like, damn, my cover's blown. <laughs> Darn it, Tiara. She's always figuring us out. So maybe, like, and this makes me so happy because I'm so proud of you. Like, you're so amazing. You're so rooted in your spirituality. You really are of the light. You really are divine. Okay? And I need you to know that. I need you to celebrate yourself. I need you to dance around your house a little bit. I need you to pop bottles with the ancestors because you are untouchable. 
You are so untouchable that your enemy is amazed by you and wants to partner with you, my love. But um, chuck the deuces and keep it moving, all right? I will see you on the next message. Peace and love.